Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a Santini Italia pen. Santini were uh, created uh, in 1998, hence the 19 and the 98 on this plaque here. Now this is a lovely black lacquered box, although with a lot of black lacquered boxes they are very prone to marking and scratching. The lovely plate here is engraved very nicely, although these screws are not recessed into the plate or the box. Now, I'm going to have to be very careful in opening this box because it is a very big, heavy box. I'm going to slide it back, because otherwise it's going to hit my camera. If I open the box, firstly, you will see Santini there again, 1998, and you can see these very hefty hinges. This is a very, very big box. You also get a Santini Italia envelope, and this has the invoice for the pen, and it has the person's address who's loaning me this pen, so I'm not going to open that on camera. It also has a how to fill your fountain pen. This is a piston filling pen. And you'll also notice here, thank you from Santini Italia team. You have an international warranty booklet. And then you have a nib test. And this is a fine flexi nib. So if I open this up, you will see the writing in blue ink and it is quite flexy and you also see that the paper is not that great because it is feathering a lot as well so then you have the pen itself and the pen is this and it's an ebonite pen and this is the michelangelo eagle's wings and it's a fine flexy nib so it's an ebonite pen and you can see there the finial on the cap where that sort of really sort of swirls round to a point and then you have this ebonite body here with all of these like wood grain type chevrons going on now you have a roller style clip you the body here tapers out or tapers into the cap finial, tapers out to the cap band here, and then you get a Greek key band on that gold cap band. And then the pen starts to taper back out to this gold ring, and then you have the piston filling of, and yes, this is a piston pen. Now, if I unscrew the cap, the first thing you will notice here is a Santini nib 1998 and it's an 18 karat gold nib and it's a fine nib. Now these nibs are supposed to be made internally within Santini although I do think that that fine or the F is laser engraved and that normally kind of gives me an idea that maybe the um, designation for the nib which has been put on later on and sometimes it, it's not always made internally but Santini say that these nibs are made internally so I'm going to go with what they say now the nib here has an ebonite feed there and you can see that contoured feed the section itself is a beautiful section uh, with that wood grain effect you have a slight flute here where it tapers out, it's like concave, and then you have these threads that are pronounced but are not sharp. Then you have another Greek key band, and then you have a step here that goes to the body. Now, in terms of holding the pen in my hand, it's a really good size pen. I do like the, the length of this pen. And I do like the girth, the, the diameter of the pen. It really is quite nice. Now, 
if I can get it on camera, it does say here Santini Italia, and this is number 42 of 98. But this is a really nice size pen for me, and with this cap here as well, if I put the cap on, you'll see there that it is a, a very nice size pen. So I think with that, we'll do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen, we are looking at 140 eight millimeters in length and the length of the cap is 65 millimeters so that's a very long pen now the length of the body to the tip of the tines on the nib we are looking at 139 millimeters so that clearly is an oversized pen but in terms of the size of my hand it's a really really good size can I post the cap I can it doesn't make it a bit long but it doesn't make it back weighted that cap is about the right weight I think most of the piston mechanism is down here so it actually feels quite nice now this is ebonite and I don't normally post ebonite pens myself because ebonite is hard rubber and although they are polished to a high standard you could end up if you're not careful making uh, scratches or making it look dull so I think with that let's do a weight check so the full weight of the pen is just under 35 grams so it's quite a weighty pen the weight of the cap is just under 12 grams and then the weight of the body we are looking at just well, about 21 and a half grams I would say just under 21 and a half grams so for me that is a really good weight I do like the more heavier weighted pens but this pen is a very beautiful ebonite so I think with that let's go and do a pen comparison so from left to right we have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Positano Blue, a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Blue Hawaii, a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in the Mediterraneo, an Atelier Luso Andromeda in the King Cobra, an Atelier Luso Andromeda in the Dragon, we have a Santini Italia, and this is the Michelangelo, the Eagle's Wings, we have a John Twist Volcano. We have a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Raden. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the sand. And we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Blue Luchens. So I think let's do a writing sample now. So this is the Santini. and it is the Michelangelo and it's the Eagle's wings and it is a fine and it's a flexi and it's an 18 carat gold nib. Now, the ink in here today is Akamon SBRE Brown. Now, this pen is on loan to me and it's a flex nib, so I'm not going to try and flex it too much. But in terms of line variation, this is a fine nib. And I'm not getting any hard starts or skips. Now, I can push it a little bit more, but I'm not going to push it any more than that because I don't want to spring this nib because it's not my nib. And if I spring the nib, I am going to end up having to pay for the pen. 
or a replacement nib, but it will probably be a replacement pen. Now, in terms of ink wetness, this is a flexi nib, so I'm getting quite a bit of ink out of that. And if I do this, this is a very wet nib. This is a really gorgeous nib to write with. It does have a little bit of feedback. It's a little bit of singing going on. And I'm finding that when I write with a nib more on an upstroke uh, than, uh, and also a downstroke, but slightly more on an upstroke, a little bit less on a downstroke. But I love how this nib writes. And this nib is a flexi nib. This really is a beautiful nib to write with now it's called the eagle's wings but the nib doesn't actually have any wings on the nib but this is a very very flexy nib and this is a fine nib i am very very tempted at maybe picking one of these up because that is a beautiful writing pen now these are all hand tuned uh, and the nibs are made in house by santini italia so when the nib comes out of the factory or out of the the company to you it comes pre-tuned and and i do like that when manufacturers do that so for me this is a really beautiful pen i like the ebonite i like the gold trims on it and i love that super flexi 18 karat gold nib now this pen retails for around about 550 euros um, the pen has 12 facets on it, but this is a really beautiful pen. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I like the size. I like the weight. I like that it's an ebonite material. I like it's got an 18 karat gold nib. Um, I like everything about this pen. The only thing I'm not that keen on are singing nibs, but it can really depend on the ink you're using and also the paper that you're using as well so i might try this on tomoray river paper which i normally write on most of the time but for me this is a beautiful pen a beautiful writing pen and i like it a lot so this is the santini italia michelangelo the eagle's wings with a fine flexi 18 karat gold nib thanks for watching Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.